bio experiments that captured some alien virus and we're culturing it and it's it's trying to climb out of its bat okay well here I have these little laptop speakers that I used last week for uh, oscillating uh, spheres of water and this week I'm gonna use the same speakers with some cornstarch solution uh, there's my cornstarch solution it came in my bonus food containers you just jump, uh, pump a little water in there and knead it around and now you have some cornstarch solution that's about as thick as pancake batter and cornstarch is a really unique fluid. It, it, it's a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that it doesn't behave like water. Its viscosity changes with the environment around it. And we'll see some effects of that uh, when we put it on the speakers. And, and there you go. If you stir it slowly, it's just about like pancake batter. You hit it fast, and it effectively turns into a solid, which is one of the neat shear thickening properties. Now I'm vibrating the speaker. And this is around 50 to 65 hertz. I'm sweeping the frequency. And you get a whole series of really neat lobes on the free surface. And the first order, this doesn't look that much different than what water does. But just wait what happens here when I give this a little disturbance and you'll see that it doesn't behave quite like water. So look at that. that you, you get these structures trying to climb up and out of the speaker. And, and what you see here is a balance between surface tension force and the shear force imparted into the fluid from the speaker oscillating. And you could do this on Earth, I understand. So here we, we don't have to worry about the effects of gravity because we're on space station. And those, uh, the gravity effects have basically been nulled out by our orbital motion. Oh, uh, here we're going to poke it again. Look at this. And once you get this perturbation going, then you get these, these structures growing out. And the vibration from the speaker is turning the cornstarch partly into this solid material and it starts to move up and out of the the speaker well but as soon as it gets away from the speaker well it's insulated from the shear and it starts to turn back into a liquid again and then surface tension pulls it back into the speaker uh, that's my simple explanation for what's going on there I also think we might be able to use this as the zero gravity equivalent of a lava lamp now I'm, I'm changing the frequencies around uh, and then I could vary the amplitude. These are all played back real time. These aren't slow motion or high speed uh, events. This is, you're seeing this as, is how it actually looks. Now here we've turned the frequency up a little bit. This is, this is around 115 to 123 hertz sweeping the frequency. And look at that drop, blowing it, it, it actually was able to escape it, it zoomed off. And when it zoomed off, it almost looked like a solid, but I caught it there with my chopstick, and, and on the chopstick, uh, without the shear, it turned back into a pancake batter type fluid again. And look what happens here, oops, there goes another blob, there goes another blob. Uh, uh, this was all around 120 hertz. Don, that was absolutely amazing. Um, I think there's also consensus down here that you should not show that to Robonaut because uh, uh, shape-shifting uh, forms uh, combined with uh, robot intelligence on board, uh, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a battle. <laughs>